Hi there, it's Alison with the Chasing Shadows in the Dark and today I have got an unboxing video for you of the Village Witch Hocus Pocus Hamper. This is the June subscription box and it is all themed about money and wealth and abundance so I'm super excited for this one. This is my second box. First one did not disappoint. Just going to pop it to one side and open it so we can get in at the goodies so first up is the little parchment sheet which has the spells and all that kind of thing so i'll just read out a little welcome july money path opener box hello my lovelies welcome to the july sub box all based around the theme of money and abundance why isn't that greedy no we all need money to live but it's also nice to use money for charity to help others Dry Herald summer holidays, the night's drawing in and therefore Simeon, Yule and Christmas are all on the way. Bills for food and fuel, power and go up. So think of this box as your way to say to the universe, I've got this this year, we'll keep on top of our finances. If you've anything surplus, why not help someone else or give it to charity? There is a link to instructions on how to use any of the products, if you don't already know. And there is a link to the sub box reveal where Bex also talks through... Um, all the products every month so there's a two spells here it's a two and one spell today um, you can do them separately or together so that is the little parchment first item I'm going to pull out is the treat box every month there is a little treat box treat bag of things to eat and drink And they are usually themed around the box itself. So we have three mint tea and we have supreme matcha green tea. So obviously green for the money. We have a premium all butter sweetheart. I love these. Some of my favourite biscuits. I always get a piece of chocolate, so this month is, of course, a couple of chocolate coins and a tube of blackjacks. I love blackjacks. So that is a little treat baggie. Yum, yum, yum. Put that to one point. First item is an adorable little purse. This is not part of the spell, it's just a little chain. Oh, it's got a little zipper. Little silk purse. You can pop some change in. Maybe even a crystal. So that is really cute. Then we have got gorgeous little steel bowl to do the spell in. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to go into this little bag of items that are needed for the spell. We have got a $10 bill, obviously not real, it is fun money to use in the spell. A little green bag. These, I'm not going to take those out. That's charcoal disc for the incense. A little green bag that we'll need. Cowrie shells, which also represent wealth. I know that from my dad. My dad used to collect seashells. We have got a gorgeous little jar, which is part of the spell. But there's also a bay leaf inside of it, which again is needed for the spell. Another little curry shell, a four leaf clover, and I always get the name of these wrong. Are these I Ching coins? Is that the name of these? And a cute little, is that going to focus? Money bags charm. So all of these items are going to be used for the spell to draw money to the household. And a 
definitely need that right now. We are having a tour. <clears throat> okay, now on to the actual Village Witch products, which is always the most exciting. First of all, we have Money Drawing Lucky Race. Look at that. It's got gold leaf and everything in it. So pretty. We have got two green candles for the spell. This one is handmade and blessed seven wonders of wealth incense. So let's get it open. I can't remember all of the scents. Um, I know there's definitely patchouli in there. I can smell it. But I will put up a matching blog post and I'll put some of the scents in there. Um, so I did write them down when I watched the video. But I can't remember anything right now. The great thing about these boxes are they're always packaged so well, so nothing ever leaks or spills. Excuse me, I think I'm going to have to be right back with you in a moment. Okay, so back um, 15 minutes later after undoing all the bubble wrap, I just undid all the bubble wrap so that we were ready to come down your So first item that I was unwrapping there is a money drawing floor wash. So it's all filled with, oh, it like fizzed when I opened it. Wow. Wish we had smell vision because it just smells so good. So we obviously use this to wash your floors and doorsteps. One teaspoon to a litre of water. It's got all the little the gold leaf and all sorts floating in there. So that's gorgeous. We have got an aura spray, abundance aura spray. Spray in the air around your home, workplace or sacred space can be used to spray over altars, magical tools and um, mojo bags and spells. Lovely. Um, everything in the box all has like similar scents and ingredients so you can use them all together. So the overriding thing is patchouli. Um, and I will check into what the other scents are because they do escape me at the moment. We have handmade money drawn ink. I absolutely love the village which inks did I even show that on camera? Because they're so vibrant and they also smell delicious. So you can see the colour of that ink. It's fabulous. Handmade showers of gold oil. So I don't know if you can see, it's all filled full of good stuff. So oils can be used for like anointing your candles, um, your tools, all that kind of stuff. These aren't for use on the skin which you will see on the bottles. That does not mean that they are dangerous, they're going to melt your skin, anything like that. It just means they are not certified for cosmetic use. So don't worry if you do 
get a little bit on your skin, you're likely going to be fine unless you're allergic to one of the ingredients. Um, it is more about the fact that they're not actually certified and designed to be on your skin. Same with the Aura Spray, do not spray it directly onto your skin. It's not a body spray or anything like that, but if you're spraying it around the room and a little settles on your skin, it is going to be fine. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, next up, last item is Handmade Banish Dead Powder. Again, this can be incorporated into your spells. It smells lovely. And as you'll notice, all of these bottles are jam-packed to the very top. So really, really great value for money. The box is £30, including postage in the UK. I can't remember how much it is internationally, but I'll put that in the description. Um, it is packaged with so much bubble wrap and stuff that it travels well in the post. Um, so you get everything here for that price. This box was really packed with a lot of handmade products. All of the Village Works products are handmade by the team um, to old family recipes. Something that I've noticed a lot of people saying recently is how they don't like the fact that there is an ingredients list on the bottles and things like that. That doesn't seem strange to me because I've never ever purchased from a magical shop where they tell me their recipes. Um, traditional witchcraft is very family and generational type things. So these are all recipes from that have handed down to Bex's family. Um, and I wouldn't expect her to share the actual recipes. She does in the video go through briefly what's in them like she has said that there's gold leaf in the incense and there's bay leaf in the incense and that kind of thing um so i wouldn't expect her to give away her family recipes if you do have concerns over anything that's in the products um one thing i will say is that the whole team whether it's bex or amy or Marcus or or whoever uh, answers your query um, they are so helpful and so willing to give information if you want to order but you have an allergy to a specific ingredient you can always drop them a line and say uh, I'm interested in the Abundance Aura Spray but I have an allergy to Lavender, can you tell me is the lavender in it? They'll be only too happy to let you know. Um, they do understand that people have allergies and things, so they will be more than willing to talk to you about that kind of thing. The only thing I would say is they're not going to give away their recipes uh, because they are family secrets. And also this is their business, so they're not going to give away the recipes for you to go make your own and then sell it. Which has happened. <laughs> um, so, don't get too hung up on the fact that there isn't a detailed ingredients list on there. There is instructions on the website. Um, you can go to if you don't know how to use any of these products. Personally, I have never used rice before, ever. Um, so I will be popping on to the website to check out what you are supposed to do with the rice um, to find out. And I'm quite excited to find out because I like to try new things. Uh, this is a more traditional witchcraft based box. Um, I more closely follow Wicca but I'm able to adapt this to use in my rituals and work so I think it's suitable for everybody um the products here are well worth way more I can't remember the exact figure because Bex did see in the subscriber group but I'm pretty sure she said there was about £45 worth of products um just to give you an idea 
or a space retail in the shop for twelve ninety nine. This is a full size product, it's not a sample size product. Um so straight away you've got thirteen pounds there. Pretty sure the floor washes are a similar price. Um and then you have got three oil well oil powder and ink. You've got incense and you have got your rice. Straight away, all of the actual Village Rich products have already exceeded the value of the box. To me, everything else is additional gifts. Um, so you've got your bowl, your candles, your purse, your other items for your spell. And then of course, just your little tea box, which is literally a little gift. So I really do think it is great value for money and I cannot wait to get my abundance spell going and hopefully bring in some cash to the household. My son is currently looking for a job and that may very well help with that. So I will be doing the spell and I will give you a little update on how it goes probably on my blog. I may even film the spell in progress, just so you can see. I know a lot of people that follow me are here for the paranormal stuff and not the witchcraft stuff. So maybe it'll be interesting to you if you've never seen anything like that before. If you do have any questions about the Village Rich subscription box, please do let me know in the comments below. And I will do my best to answer them or direct you to someone who can. So once again, thanks so much for watching. If you have not already, please do hit subscribe and the little bell button next to it so that you're notified of any new videos coming up. I'm hoping to have a little paranormal video coming soon. Um, but until next time, stay spooky. Bye bye.